morning everybody it's me again crazy bag lady oh i'm still not very well at all i just thought i would show you the morning sunshine it's beautiful look look at the sky and it's really frosty outside so i'm about to get up early because my husband went at like half past five this morning james is doing bus school run for me but i'm about to get up and sort the dogs out it's so early oh it's horrible but the sky is very beautiful. Good morning, Peggy ladies. So Peggy and her friend Pat and me <laughs> had a cup of tea in my husband's beard mug. I've no idea why I use this mug. In fact, I don't think I've ever had a drink out of this mug before. Because obviously it's like my husband's mug. And I just thought I was being a bit of a rebel this morning. So we went for a beard mug. <laughs> uh, my husband doesn't drink tea. He hates it. He only drinks coffee. I love a cup of tea in the morning. Right. So I hope you're all okay. So calendar of the day. Wednesday. There's not many left on this calendar now. So Wednesday. The bad news is time flies. The good news is you're the pilot. Yeah, you are, but time does go so fast. I literally cannot believe that we're nearly in December. It freaks me out. I, in my head, still feel like it's sort of September, October time, and I've still got lots of things that I wanted to do, and you suddenly think it's nearly the last month of the year. It's unbelievable. Oh, I can't believe how fast it's gone. So I've just done all my makeup. Definitely needed this today when I woke up and looked in the mirror. I looked so rough. So I've used my special plumping stuff. I've got my foundation on. I love this foundation so much. It never ceases to amaze me how good it makes your skin look. It's bloody brilliant. Um, I mix two colours together. That's why I've got two tubes. And I love it so much. So, Lorraine's magic. How are we ready? Um, every day holds the possibility of a miracle. Oh, does that mean we're going to get better today? <laughs> Right, and a bit of midlife crisis. Time and trouble will take an advanced young woman, but an advanced old woman is uncontrollable by any earthly force. <laughs> if you want a thing well done, get a couple of old broads to do it. Broads, is it? To do it. <laughs> well, midlife crisis. So, happy Wednesday. Oh, well, I guess it does look pretty out there. But you can kind of see how cold it is. Is that the sun or the moon? I think that's the moon, isn't it? Oh, oh my fluffy bedding was lovely that we had on yesterday. It was so nice. So I'm now washing everybody else's soon. Everyone else got fluffy bedding tonight. So they were supposed to have a fluffy bedding as a Christmas bedding. But because it's dropped so cold, I thought it's just it's brown plate time right are you ready i believe this has come thing a brown plate thing so this morning for breakfast we have got brown plates haven't got a box for them anymore because i sent them off i sent the box off with a lovely bubble calendar so we've got brown plates with no box breakfast brown plates blueberries skimmed milk nutcrackers and my little dish ready for my mince pies and my advent calendars chocolate Ooh. Won't be long. Oh, right, okay. The sun is melting me car. Poor bit, it's all frozen. I'm pinky. I'm Percy. I haven't been out in Percy for a bit, bless him. We need to. Uh, right, so I've been on the phone to my mum, been on the phone to my mum, and been cleaning my bedroom windowsills, which are absolutely filthy. You don't realise how dirty windowsills get, especially when you've got these blinds where you can't really see your windowsills. They get so dusty. So we're just having a cleaning bit. It's a hard line. <laughs> Everybody's in separate rooms and they're all asleep and they're all snuggled up. Look at Florence. Could she look any more cosy? And here I am. I've got fluffing in my mouth. Hang on. So I've got changed already. I had a mohair done from, but it was really fluffy and I was dropping fluff like everywhere as I was like wiping the windows and stuff. I was leaving a trail of fluff. So I've put this on, but now I don't know if this is a bit big. Probably shouldn't tuck it in. Um, but you can't beat like a polo neck round your neck when you're a bit cold and poorly. Hmm, I don't want to be poorly. It's boring. And I told you as soon as I cleaned my windsill the other day that Mr. Spider would leave me a present. Although I think those little long bits are off. 
these ponytail things, they do leave a bit of a mess, these dry flowers. I love them, but they do make a bit of a mess. It's just too cute. Winnie loves being tucked in. But the only trouble is when Dolly realises that Winnie's got a blanket on her, Dolly will run off with a blanket. Not sure how long she'll get to sit under it. Ooh. And could this be next year's project? I love this wallpaper so much. I nearly did it in my haul. Um, but it's so pretty. I love it. I keep thinking maybe I could do it in my bedroom. It would match my bed, my curtains, everything. It's so pretty. Right, so I'm still dusting my bedroom. Books. Started reading this, was so excited to read this. Got to page like, I don't know, 400 and something and realised it was rubbish and I haven't finished it because I didn't really understand any of it. It flipped from one thing to another, didn't really know who any of the characters were and it was just, it was crap. <laughs> and I thought, I'm sat here every night reading this and I don't enjoy it, I don't even know who the characters are and it was just rubbish. So I flipped this one Um and already, I've been reading it a few days, I'm already halfway through. It is absolutely brilliant. Really like this one. It's so good. Um, I hope it has a good ending. Love it. Right, made myself a cup of coffee because it is 20 past 11. So I'm going to do as many jobs as I can till dinner time. And then after dinner, I think I'm going to go for a little rummage to my favourite bric a brac charity shop. And the blanket is still on. Right, let the new bedding fun begin. Oh. It. it's so i can't tell you how soft it is it feels so cozy so i've not told james or ruby so i'm hoping when they come home they'll appreciate this little surprise so let's get this open and on oh you definitely won't want to get up in the morning for work will he lovely i've even put my little gonk in bed <laughs> oh so cozy oh i'm sure dolly's going to appreciate that later I'm glad I did my gardening yesterday. It's so cold out here, even the grass is still frozen and it's 12 o'clock. You can see where the sun's been when the sun hasn't been. Oh, and even my crocs are sticking to my patio because it's so light icy. Oh. Hmm, I think we did a good job yesterday. Right, are we ready to tackle the next bed? Ugh, last one. Oh, and one for Florence's bed for later. Oh, we're we ready. Right, so feather duster, you can't beat these for dusting these blooming blinds. Absolutely fantastic. So we're gonna dust and then Ruby's bedroom will be all nice and done and clean. Right, we'll do this as fast as we can because I'm starving and I really want to go out and get some fresh air because it's so nice. I think it's gonna rain tomorrow, so you know it won't be as nice tomorrow. So get as much as this done and then we'll have some dinner and go out. Even though I don't feel very well, I think getting out and getting some fresh air definitely it makes you feel a bit better. Ooh, don't think this girl can't do DIY. So I've put that up. I about killed myself trying to screw it in, but I wouldn't put anything heavy on it, but it's all right for just putting a blazer and stuff when she comes home from school. Polly wants to paint him with the same paint as the door and then it will blend in really, really nicely. But she was desperate for a hook to hand things on. Um, I don't know whether I should have done it on here, but then I think if it's high, then it's sort of better for hanging longer stuff. So. I wonder if she'll notice when she gets home. Oh, Ruby's room done. She's definitely not going to be getting out of bed in the morning, is she? It's so cosy. Right, it's quarter past one. If we don't hurry up, we won't have time to go and I really want to go for a little rummage. Right, so I've got a cup of coffee in me, I'll be eating cake and I've got myself a bacon bagel with mozzarella. I couldn't resist. I, sh I, only, I only had one yesterday. Shouldn't have the same thing all the time but you know when it's cold and you don't feel 100% you think oh why not Winifred have you made it into a pillow now that's clever right so of course my friends want some but they'll have to wait till I've done 
Oh, that was delicious. Right, are oh, you ready? Look how patiently Winnie sits. That's so lovely. Florence's tail going. Right, Florence, are you ready? There you go. Right, Dolly. Come find it. And Winifred. Winifred, your bit's got a bit of cheese on it. Oh, delicious. No. There you go, Winnie. Enjoy the moment. Oh, that be me with my epic kind of weekend. Lovely. <laughs> I'm finally ready. Let's go.
back in the car. I think I was a bit too well wrapped up. I'm so hot. Oh, so hot in that chair shot. Whew. Anyway, I had a lovely rummage. Let's make our way back home again. Right. I'm home. I've grabbed my little friends. I'm going on a quick walk. We've literally got about 10 minutes to go to school. Right? So, super fast walk. Yes, I know. Let's go. It's a pug, same as you. It's a pug night, Winifred, be quiet. Yeah, shut up. Frozen. Are you coming, Winifred? Come on. Right, come on. Yeah, oh, the leaves don't like the leaves. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely freezing out there. I cannot believe I was hot in the charity shop because walk around the block, I was frozen. It was so cold. Anyway, we've only got about five minutes till we've got to get Ruby. And I bought this. Why did I buy this? Because it looks like you, doesn't it? I'm going to put it in Ruby's window. It's so cute. It's a little polar bear, but it just reminded me of Dolly so much. And I also bought this lovely tiny little vase because I'm going to put some of my smelly stuff in it what I really love and obviously the flowers and I bought this for the same reason as well so I thought you can put the oil in it and dunk the flowers in it this is like I don't really know if someone's made it or whether it's come from like a really cool shop I don't know but it's really cool I really like it so unusual and then I also bought these for pounds but I appeared only wanted a little piggy I'm gonna give it my husband to put in his car it's very cute and it'll half match the one he's already got it's slightly bigger than the one he's already got but it's so cute in fact they're all cute even one of them is like a little flower dog <laughs> they're very cute and they also bought about a million baubles because they were quite cheap i've got no food ladies um i bought about a million baubles because they were cheap because somebody on instagram one of my lovely subscribers sent me a picture of somebody's house the other day and their whole house the front of it they'd done with like a frame and covered it in baubles and it looked amazing and if i can i'm going to do something similar on a smaller scale so i need to find some sort of frame or trellis or something then we're going to put baubles all over it all from the chat shot and put it out the front it'll be lovely right back in the car off we go on bus school run right we've got ruby And the framework has begun for my ball ball expedition. Expedition? Exhibition. <laughs> if it works. Oh, and look what one of my neighbours has bought round. This is fresh lemon cake. I um, just made, literally come out the oven and it's still warm. I might have the tiniest slice of cup of coffee. Oh, the slimmest little slice I could cut. But it's the fact it's still warm. It's just absolutely delicious. So 
off to enjoy my naughty little bit of lemon cake. The tea is in the oven. So I've just done my little flower. So I've got the oriental jasmine, my favorite. I like the tea rose, but the jasmine one is absolutely amazing. So I've poured it into my little vase that I got today. And the flower will soak up the oil and release the smell. And it smells beautiful. Mm. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my tea. So Ruby's already had hers. James isn't back from work yet. My hubby's not going to be back till about 7 o'clock from Scotland, bless him. He's been right up to Scotland. So here's my little tea for one. So I've got fish and chips um, and peas and a bit of mozzarella and low-fat mayonnaise. Off to enjoy it. I don't even need to speak, do I? So my tea was delicious. And it's now feeding time. Right. There you go. Uh, Dolly? Yes, don't be naughty. Right. Winnie friends. <laughs> and last but not least, little Dolly Wally. <laughs> Bet you make yourself dizzy. Right, there you go. Right, we've received a very interesting box this afternoon. Um, I didn't open it, but I did message one of my friends, Victoria. I was like, have you sent me something? Because <laughs> she said she was going to. And she messaged me back and said, yes, please open it now. So I've literally just took them out of the big box. There's three small boxes. So I can see it's something very interesting, but she's like, I want you to enjoy it now. Okay, so we've got... A super cute mug um, in the shape of a stocking. How adorable is this? So there's a green one, and I think this one looks the same but a different colour. <laughs> so cute. Oh my gosh. And a red one. So me and my hubby can have matching drinks for Christmas. <laughs> How fabulous is this? It's so cute. And also, there is another interesting thing, which I might have to, let me just open it, hang on. Wow, I could smell this. I could smell it before I unwrapped it. It smells absolutely beautiful. So it is, obviously it's a candle with like, oh, the smell. I've never smelled anything like it. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely dreamy, wow. And then the top is a J with little um, fake snow and stuff in it. Look. Oh, this is just so sweet. What an absolutely beautiful present. Thank you so much. Oh, gosh, this is so lovely. I can't wait to like this. It smells absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Victoria, for thinking of us. It's absolutely lovely. Oh, thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. It's just so kind. So it is. I'm going to love you and leave you. Otherwise, this video will be too long and then it won't upload and then it's just a nightmare. So many thanks for being there with me today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Obviously, if you do enjoy it, just a little bit of real life. Here's my real life look. My little friends with me. Um, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. In fact, I haven't put anything on my Instagram for ages and I really need to start doing it again because it's really interesting when you look back at photos and stuff from a while ago. It's so good. So I need to do my Instagram. I need to do their Instagram, which is three for fours. And then obviously I make the little cute videos of them, the little short videos, which are so funny when you have music to them. They make me laugh so much. So it's all down below. My Avon shot's down below. It's all down below. So thanks for being there with me every day. It, it just means so much. And we've just got such a lovely community and it's just... I wake up every morning and I think, shall I vlog? You know, are people fed up of like just pottering around with me every day? And it, I don't know, but you're just all still here and it's just so kind. So thank you so much. So I love you and leave you. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm feeling very spoiled. See you tomorrow. Bye.